Hey everybody, welcome to CRNT Designers. This is Chetan and in this Blender tutorial, we are going to create this kind of design where you can see the cutouts and details on the cylindrical form. So without further ado, let's get started. To create this design, I have added a cylinder and you need to add a 48 word cylinder add there. More word cylinder is important to add more details on it. Then you need to create the simple looking tapper form by scaling the words. It's very simple. Then I have added one cube add there and I will use this cube to create the boolean details. So just adjust the proportion of this cube and then you need to go to the edit mode and then add a center loop cut add there. Then scale the center loop cut along the y axis and now you need to add the bevel on it. So control B and then add bevel and you can add 4 to 5 segment bevel and that will be fine for it and give the proper bevel width and you will get this kind of form then you need to select this corner edges and you need to add a small bevel add there you can add two segment bevel add there and then you need to select both the objects and use the boolean operation difference then you can add one more cube add there and then scale it along the y axis in this way and use the boolean operation difference then shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into the 90 degree and use the boolean operation difference. Then here I want little bit less scale along the y axis so you can scale it down. So you will get this kind of form and just move it little bit along the z axis in this way. And you will get this kind of block out add there. Then just you need to apply all the boolean modifiers and move this cutter objects in different collection and hide that collection. Now we need to create the right topology on the model. And that's not difficult. You need to merge the words like this. And here you can use the knife tool and you can create this kind of cut. You can see there. Then select these words and then merge them. And then dissolve this edge. Then you can select these words and then merge them. Then you can use the symmetry add there along the x and y axis. And then delete the one third of the model. Then use the knife tool add there and create a cut like this. Just try to create that supportive structure at there and that chord based topology on the model. And now I will create a loop structure at there. So use the knife tool and create this kind of cut and then create that loop structure around that boolean detail, that supportive loop structure. Then from outer side also you need to create the similar kind of loop structure. For that also you need to use the knife tool. and then create supportive cuts and same kind of loop structure you need to create from the bottom side so you can use the insert operation add there and press B to avoid that border so you will get that loop structure add there and then you can add supportive loop cuts like this Then create a loop structure so that's why you need to merge the words in this way. So we will get that loop structure around that boolean detail. And then you can press Ctrl 2 to add the subd modifier on it and turn off that auto smooth and then delete the bottom face. You will get this kind of form then add more supportive loop cuts add there. And here also you need to create similar loop structure around this boolean detail. So add the supportive loop cuts and then merge the words like this. And now you can see we are getting the smooth form. Just you need to use the edge slide add there and you need to give the right position to this edge loop. Then add one loop cut and use the knife tool and complete that loop structure and you will get this kind of decent looking smooth form. Then add the mirror modifier and take the mirror modifier on the top of your sub D modifier and take the symmetry along the x and y axis and turn on merging and clipping option. Then just you need to select the simple faces add there 
and then shift D to duplicate it and then press P for the selection to make them different object and then you can select these edges and you can E to extrude these edges and move this along the X axis and then connect this edges so you will get this another form at there then extrude it along the Z axis and here I want to create a simple looking handle design and then select these faces and then press I for the insert operation and then select these faces and then press Alt S to scale them along their normal and now you need to add more supportive loop cuts to maintain that structure maintain that form and then take the symmetry you will get this kind of decent looking design simple and easy then I have used my kit bash nuts and bolts to add those nuts details then you need to select the faces with the shift select and you need to press P for the selection to make a different object. You will get this different object. And you can see we got two different objects at there. Means overall three different objects you can say. You will get this bottom part and here you need to create a little bit of right topology. You need to add the loop cut like this and you need to add a set flow on it and create that right supportive structure. Then you can apply mirror modifier and use the extrude along the normal operation and you can add thickness on it and here you need to apply the mirror modifier and you can add the thickness on it by extruding it along the normal but before that you need to remove some edge loops at there because when we extrude this kind of complicated part along its normal it creates some weird form from the inner side not from the outer side so you can remove some edges and you can extrude it along its normal or you can use the solidify modifier on it so you can adjust its thickness as per your need so that will be more convenient way to add that solidify modifier once you get the satisfied thickness then you can apply that solidify modifier and you can add more supportive loop cuts at there on that form and now just I have refined that part, that bottom parts and just I have filled that bottom gap at there. And it's very simple. Then just check the face orientation. And here you can see I have got three different parts for the model. And some nuts at there. Then you can select these faces and you can create a simple looking design by using the insert operation. And there you go. In this way you can create this kind of design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So in the next video, take care. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small.